Hey guys, it's Karen and I want to talk to you about the cutest, most adorable, cozy book ever <laughs> called 84 Charing Cross Road. <laughs> my dog and my cat are like playing right now. So this book tells the story of Helene who's a script writer from New York City who starts writing to this bookstore in London, England and just asking for books. She mails them letters uh, with this list of books. She basically wants to like educate herself and uh, get more knowledgeable about literature. And so she's writing them, asking them, do you have this book? Do you have this book? She sends them like cash in the mail from New York City. And yeah, so this book is an epistolary novel and it, well, it's not even a novel, sorry. Like this is real, this actually happened. Um, it's the author writing letters uh, to this bookstore and the people that work at the bookstore for 20 years. So um, it's epistolary nonfiction, I guess. So this book is an amazing book for readers just because of all the book references in it as she's asking for certain books and sometimes discussing it with them or just discussing reading in general. Um, the book also talks about um, just kind of what things were like in the United States as well as in England after the war because the letters start in 1939 and they end in 1969, I believe. Yep. And so um, it really tells about the situations in England and the United States, just so you get to know the people and it's a really awesome book. Some of the questions brought up in this book are just um, questions that I feel like we have tags about on YouTube, like do you write in your books? Do, would you buy books that you haven't read or do you only buy copies of books you've read and loved and just want for your shelves? Then also, do you spring clean your books? Would you get rid of books and give them to a friend if you didn't absolutely love them? Or are you like people like Britta who I believe keep all their books and cannot get rid of them? Another thing I liked about this book was it just reminded me of like the friendships that we develop through literature because um, the author of this book, as she's writing these letters to this bookstore in England and the staff that are writing her back, they like really fall in love with her and she falls in love with them and they just build this friendship that takes place over the years. And even though I've only been on booktube since May, I already have developed some amazing friendships and people I talk to on Voxer or send emails to and it just really reminded me of this. So another thing that makes this book really entertaining is just that the author is so funny in her letters. She is so witty. She reminds me of my friend Allie, if you guys know Allie. Just the smart, witty humor. The letters were so entertaining to read and I really enjoyed this book. I gave this five out of five stars. It was just like a comfy, cozy read for a rainy day, which is what it's like today in Michigan. And I would recommend this to anyone who's a book lover because I think you would be able to connect to the feelings of the main character and those who work in the bookstore. And it's really short. I read it in one sitting and I'm sure you probably would too, but I definitely think you should read this. I'm probably late to the game on this. So let me know if you've read it. How, what you thought of it, and also if there's any other books about books that you love. I'll see you guys later. Bye.